hello guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to share this video with you guys this is the video that i actually promised you guys that is going to be coming out and today i am sharing this video with you guys for those of you following me and so for those of you who subscribe to my channel remember in my previous video i did mention that i will be releasing a well detailed video on the skilled labor that in canada and actually these skilled jobs would would help you to obtain your permanent residence popularly known as the pr or even get you a work permit and when you get selected to work for this company guys the next thing it's you are going to go get your visa guys i want you guys to watch this video to the end and before we go into detail talking about today's video I want to share with you guys a proof guys i want to share with you guys the proof the origin of my video so that you guys will actually understand why i do what i do okay please stick around and watch this video to the end because this video that i'm about to play with to play for you guys is very interesting and so that you can actually feel my joy to feel the joy to feel the reason why i do what i do here on this channel because i really want to help a lot of you guys this video that i'm about to share right now it's very very important you watch it so that way you understand okay watch this video that i'm about to share now right here it's taken on renewed significance during that time as we saw from the 2021 census in particular canada's population is aging immigration is now driving most of our population growth and labor force stability Le plus grand Canada nombre de résidents permanents dans son most permanent resident in the city parce que nous avions and it's part because we needed some newcomers and they need us our worker and this is an important statistic our worker to retiree ratio has dropped from 7 to 1 since i was born 50 years ago to nearly 3 to 1 now if we don't welcome more newcomers that number will approach 2 to 1 in the decades ahead and that'll put our infrastructure and key programs like our healthcare and our education at risk I'm pleased to share that Canada intends to maintain its target of welcoming 485,000 new permanent residents in 2024 and 500,000 in 2025. Starting in 2026, the number of newcomers we aim to welcome will stabilize at 500,000, allowing for a sustainable population growth. These immigration levels allow us to bring in the skills and talent we need to fill the labor gaps and ensure Canada's economic prosperities, help families reunite and remain a leader in refugee resettlement. They're keeping us with our long-term focus on economic growth with roughly 60% of the permanent resident emissions dedicated to the crucial economic class. All right, welcome back. You finished watching the video. The young man you saw speaking there, it's the Minister of Immigration of Canada and his name is Mark Miller. You know, I told you guys that due to the aging population in Canada right now, that Canada needs you as much as you need Canada. He said it on the video, right? Canada needs you. And as you heard from what he said, 2024, they are looking to welcome newcomers from different parts of the world, about 485K. 485, ask yourself, are you going to be among those 485K? Then it's up to you. And these are people that come into Canada by themselves with their family. This is what I'm going to show with you guys step by step on how you can actually apply for a skilled job in Canada and get your permanent residence. And going into 2025, they are expected to bring in welcoming more. Again, 500K, guys. This is awesome opportunity for some of you that want to move to Canada. But the thing is this, are you ready? Are you ready or are you still getting ready? You see, there's so much advantage that you could take right now. If you are not even ready for 2024 or maybe you're still in school, save this video, watch this video, prepare yourself for 2025. It doesn't just stop there. They are going to continue this part until 2026 and they're going to stabilize it to 500K. That is what he was saying on the video, guys. So they want to stabilize it to 500K. How long is it going to last? I don't know. Remember, he said this is just a pilot program, you know. So what they're trying to do, and 
when they say a pilot program, it means it's temporary. It can change. It can be maybe something that maybe at the end of the day, if they feel like they've gotten up to the population they need, they might just cancel it and they're going to make even more, they're going to make immigrate to Canada even more harder. But right now, immigrating to Canada is the easiest, like the simplest. All you have to do is to be ready rather than to get ready. I keep saying this all the time, guys. I am going to share with you guys a site where you can actually find a job. And some of those jobs doesn't even require LMIA, which means the employer can just go ahead once you are selected and hire you, they don't need to go and get extra documents, you know, submit an extra document to the to the uh, to the government before they hire you. What it means is that those employers they have already been qualified, they just need to bring foreigners from anywhere as long as you pass the interview process. And that is what I'm going to share with you guys. This is very important. Just showing you the jobs, how to apply is easy as ABC. But there are some tricks that you need to apply while you are applying for those jobs. And that is why I'm here to share with you guys. But before we do all that, I want to give out the first 100 people that are going to follow this video on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. I am going to be giving you a free reference. This reference or referral will actually really, really help you guys. All you have to do is to add this referrer to your resume or you call it your CV, then the employer, what they are going to do is to contact those referrer to say, hey, do you know this person? All they have to do is to say, yes, I know this person. He's from my country. He's a hard worker. He knows what he's doing. He or she knows what he's doing. Okay. And that is all because it's just like, like where I'm from, they call it I am. But I am a probably like a different scenario. You have to bribe and do all that. No, but in this case, they're kind of giving a guarantee to the employer that yes, I know this person. Okay, I can use myself. I can give you my detail for you to add details, and you can add it to your resume or to your CV. So by the time your employer or the employer at the time contacts me to say, hey, do you know this person? I can as well verify you to say, hey, I know this person. This person is a hardworking person, but that it's not going to change anything regarding your background. You're still going to go through the normal process. The only thing I'm giving is a reference, you know, because you've actually passed the fourth stage, okay? But you're still going to go through the background check and all of all that, which is the job of the immigration, you know? My aim of doing this is not to bypass the system but to actually assist you guys because my aim of uh, on this channel is to actually help you confidently achieve your immigration journey and for those of you on facebook that they are attacking me that oh canada is full canada don't want you the reason why you are doing that is because you are already in canada you do not want me to share the information for people out there to take the advantage. I'm not a selfish person. If I get a good and genuine information, I want to share with you guys, you know. I'm also an immigrant, you know, so I wasn't born here. So come on, this is a free world. I want you guys to come here, you know, and do what you have to do and be a good citizen and work and make your money. So that is my aim on this channel. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and give this video a huge thumbs up, okay? But without further ado, I am going to jump into my computer right now for us to dissect everything that has to do with the application. And I'm going to show you guys the available jobs that you can apply right now and step by step of the application, even as much as the pay, guys. This is very interesting, okay? And I want you guys to just, you know, Sometimes, you know, when you, you skip this video, you might miss something that is very, very important. And that is why, you know, it's always good to watch this video to the end. Subscribe, click on the notification bell. And now let's get started. All right, guys. So I am on my computer right now. And the website you are going to log on to, it's known as Walker police so this is the website you have to go i'm going to include the link of everything i'm going to share here 
on the description of this video so just in case you can't find it you don't even have to go to google to start searching for worker police okay just go to the description of this video everything is going to be there for you to give you a quick and easy access okay if you speak english you have to have it on english if you speak french you have to have it on french okay so this is it right here all right france yeah. all right so once you click on this website worker Paul is going to pull up this page for you okay this is if you want a part-time full-time accounting but we don't need all that this is what we're interested in doing okay this is what we're interested in doing right here you have to come here and click visa sponsorship because that is what you need you click on visa sponsorship guys so again once you go to this website the first thing you should click on is the visa sponsorship the visa sponsorship will actually pull out all the available jobs for you and then you find what match your skill okay guys all right so um i will click on this visa sponsorship and here we are here are the different jobs for those of you who are truck drivers who know how to drive truck this is the first job that popped out right here okay now so and one thing about this jobs this skill job remember guys it doesn't need no degree you don't need to have a degree okay the minimum the the minimum or degree they are requesting here is a high school diploma guys or GED so if you have your high school diploma you are good to go and again you only have to have a one year verifiable experience this is what i'm talking about here when i talk about the referral okay the referrer and and your reference can work hand in hand to say hey i know this person you just need that person that will you know be able to verify you to say yes you've been doing this that is all it's talking about here okay so if you have a reference in your home country it's fine you can use your reference for your home country but remember also if you have somebody who is already in canada who will actually stand as a a um a referrer to you it's an added advantage to this application process this is what everybody is doing this is what people have been doing and i want you guys to also take the advantage and do the same thing okay so having said that so the first job we are looking at here is a truck driver this is they have different categories okay as you can see here it says visa sponsorship jobs okay this you're looking at it right here all you have to do is come to this with that but the key to all this application it's your resume guys it's your resume please take your time to prepare your resume i always said these employers they don't know who you are so they base their judgment on your resume take your time to prepare your resume and your cover letter this is very crucial guys if you don't know how to prepare your resume contact me i can give you a sample for you to copy the same thing just let me know but the only favor i'm asking from you is to please subscribe and like this video and share this video with your friends too just the same way i'm sharing with you guys okay and as you can see here they have 119 visa sponsorship jobs that is available for today okay it might change tomorrow this website get updated like every day or every week okay guys so if you pick this job this is the estimated amount that you are going to earn per year you're going to be around for one thousand nine hundred and three dollars or fifty three thousand five fifty three thousand and fifty nine dollars okay this is just an estimate you can earn more than this let's say you work overtime you know let's say you work during the holiday but this is just an estimate that you can earn which is awesome guys i don't know how much you're earning where you are if you come back this money that is a lot of money okay so all right so let's keep going you know we're not just going to be looking at one type of job there's a lot of them they have another driver again you know for those of you who know home support worker home support worker this is what you're going to be earning right here okay this is the job let's click and see what is the education requirement the education requirement guys look guys it's only high school diploma or your ged okay and the thing the only skill they require from you is to be a caregiver and that's all caregiver like 
caregiver makes a lot of money in Canada. And as a matter of fact, you can see here, this job was just posted six days ago. So it's still fresh, like fresh, like hot pizza, guys. <laughs> and I feel like eating pizza right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So this job is still fresh, you know. And I'm going to tell you guys how the application process work, okay? How they get to select who they select and how you're going to get your call or the email. So just sit back and keep watching. Let's first look at all the jobs that are available. I'm going to tell you the application process, okay? And I'm still going to show you how to apply. It's easy, just easy, you guys. Just watch and see what's going to happen next. I'm going to shock you guys and you'll be amazed at, you know, because sometimes people think, you know, like going to Canada, it's so difficult and they, it scares people away, guys. You know, you, you make you feel like, can I do this? No, you can do. Just believe in yourself. If you're watching this video right now, you can do the same process. And as a matter of fact, I am here to support you, to help you, to give you the morale you need. Everybody needs some morale. I need some morale from you guys, right? You know, even the guys in the war front, they need some morale. The guys doing their thing, playing games, they need, you know, some kind of morale. So I need your support too. Canada needs you just the same way you need Canada, okay? And I just throw a little joke right there, you know, just to make you guys smile a little bit and don't feel overboard with my video. So let's keep going. Um, this is a long haul truck driver. You know, this part, it's if you maybe, um, you can, you have a, Opportunities of going interstate, but you'll be going from state to state, Toronto to you know, they have some that they are just local drivers, they just drive within their cities, and they have some that they are long haul drivers, you know, just like driving from Montreal to Vancouver or from Vancouver to Toronto, you know, so that's a long haul drive. But those guys also make a lot of money, and some of you know, this is the region is Saskatchewan, and when you see SK, that's Saskatchewan, but all of them are still in, they are still province in Canada, okay? So if you are in Canada, guy, you are in Canada, that's it. All right, so the skill that they need right here, it's driving and communication skill, easy. Just speak English, that's all you need for you to get qualified for this job, okay? It's easy. Like, look at so many jobs that are here, so many opportunities. Like, a lot of people from different countries are taking the advantage, you know, they are moving to Canada. Look at this long haul truck driver again, who was posted four days ago. And uh, look at this, it's very interesting, guys, you know? So, the experience you need is just six months experience and up to 12 months. But the thing is this, guys, even when you see come to Canada, you are still going to go through their, um, through their training process for you to get the Canadian license and everything. Because here, you need a class one license, okay? I don't know what you call it in your country. I don't know if it's classified or as a class one. So, but you're going to need a class one license, okay? Which is, you know, which is very, very, uh, I think that's the number one in Canada, okay? Because here he said must be eligible to enter Canada, and must be eligible to enter the USA. So that means if you have this license, you know, you can go from US to Canada, you know, just driving truck, and they're going to provide you everything that you need here, guys, okay? And the salary is between seventy thousand dollars to eighty thousand dollars, okay? This is still estimate guys remember you can do overtime and this is going to fetch you more money okay so team truck driver this is around 60 to 76 that's another job then those i mean i'm just showing truck drivers i'm not saying they have only truck driving jobs here okay this is a gas station manager you know if you are good in managing an organization that's also good for you you know greenhouse worker you know so this is another opportunity right here it pays about 16 dollars an hour which is potential there's a potential for this amount to increase if you know what you're doing if you know your job pretty good if you know what you're bringing to the table it's really good okay so for this job they are going to need LMIA that I talked about, okay? The LMIA, it's simply Labor Market Impact Assessment. 
This is a document that an employer in Canada may need to get before hiring a foreign worker. So they have to obtain this document from government, you know, before they're going to hire you. But remember, guys, I said I'm going to tell you guys what are the hiring process. The hiring process is the most crucial part, you know. This, I'm just showing you guys what's available, but the hiring process is the most crucial part. So please, I am going to share that with you in a moment, okay? I just want to show you guys the different jobs that are here. I mean, take your time and explore this job. What we're seeing so far, it's more of truck driving. I'm telling you, they do not have only truck drivers here, okay? They have a lot of them. This is for supervisor right here, okay? So, but if you are a truck driver, this is this is office assistance right here. You paid about 16 to 17 dollars, potential to increase, you know. So landscape supervisor right here, landscape supervisor. You can see there's also and it pays about 28 dollars an hour. Okay. So when you click on each job, it's going to give you what are the requirements and you look at the requirements and see if it's something you already have. Once you have all the requirements. Please do not waste time to go ahead and submit your CV, guys, okay? Just go for it, okay? So, they have a lot of them. They have housekeeping. They have food supervisor position here, office assistance, ice cream, okay? Ice cream production, that's good. That's another one. He's a cook manager, you know, auto body. If you know how to walk um, a mechanic, that's what they mean by right here. But this mechanic right here, you have to... Be, it's not uh, it's not working on the engine it's for the auto parts you know if you are a technician more of of that so you have to be working on the body not you know dealing the most of the time you work with it in the collision center you know you don't have to do with the mechanical part of it all right so if you don't find anything you need right here you can go to the next page like I showed you guys they have a hundred and nineteen jobs that that's open that they are looking for people right now okay this is Okay, this is a uh, personal care attendant, LMIA, which is, they need LMIA for this job. Do not be scared of LMIA, it's a good thing, you know. The thing is this, this is Toronto right here, this is Ontario. The thing is this, is that they need you. Once you have up to the qualification, you have the skill that they are looking for. And that is why I told you guys, your CV, your resume plays a crucial part in applying for this job, okay. So take your time, take your time to prepare your CV, take your time to prepare your cover letter. This is a game changer. This is going to be a game changer, guys. Put everything, to make sure you put up to the best of what you do. That is going to be a game changer for you in this application process, okay? So yeah, this is a lot of jobs that are here, traffic control, and as well as, um, as one driver, commercial transport a lot tons of jobs that they're here guys you know you can imagine making about 20 24 dollars per hour that's over like about 960 something dollar per week and that's going to bring, bring you to about 48 to 50k per year this is a lot of money that can help you and your family java developer this is your job okay so canadian visa sponsorship global talent stream so it's still there if you're a java guy you know how to do java you'll be earning over about ninety thousand dollars per year okay so this is probably going to have a different skill you're going to have a java skill so if you're watching this video and you have a java skill this job is for you go ahead and apply for this job right now if you need anything let me know and i will do my best to assist you okay baker they have a lot of them so what you have to do next let's say you want to apply for this job then you read all the job description to make sure you meet up to the um, requirements which is going to be your skill do you speak english do you have the years of experience and all of what that and the skills are not demanding at all they are not i'm not i mean i'm what well, excuse me the skills right here are not like crazy skills that you won't be like oh my god i don't have this these are little, little things that you have okay so if you click on apply it's only going to ask you to um create an account you put in your name your your first name your last name phone number this is optional and then your email once you do that it's going to ask you to upload your resume 
right here this is where you have to upload your resume okay this was when i was doing the test try it's going to ask you to upload your resume once you upload your resume now we're getting to the most interesting part of this so guys listen once you upload your resume what is going to happen is that your resume is going to go to this um hiring agency because this is a hiring agency okay they are third party the main employer push out their job on this side and then this people they're going to contact you directly once you are selected now when they contact you they are going to schedule an interview with you this is going to be the first step you pass the first step guys just listen and you know this is the most crucial part that you also have to take note of so these guys they're going to contact you and when they contact you they might schedule an interview a zoom a phone interview they get to know you a little bit you get to talk more about your skills guys and when you're talking about your skill guys i want you guys to also get to know these guys try to look at their website and see what they are doing go somewhere like about Wakapolis, you know get to know them a little bit you know tell them why you apply with them okay tell them why you apply for this job because they have been in the business for 15 years and they have employed millions of you know say something about them how genuine they are this will actually make them feel like oh wow you get to know about us from all the way where you are you know get to chip in while you apply for this job show some show some kind of can show show a kind of that you really you are really into what you want to do okay guys so this is very very important and then after the first step after this first step after having your first interview with the recruiting agency what they are going to do next is they are going to shoot your application to the main hiring uh, to the main employer okay to the main hiring company or to the main employer so when they send out to you your document your cv to the main employer then the main employer will contact you and schedule a second interview with you guys repeat the same thing and guys during your interview please avoid noisy crowded area because they are not just going to call you and tell you you have an interview what they're going to do is they're going to schedule an interview with you and they're going to find out what day what time works best for you please make sure your phone is charged make sure you are in, in a more conducive and quiet environment okay guys make sure you have notes if it's on to make sure you take notes during your interview and the last please make sure you ask questions at the end of your interview when the employer asks you do you have any question please and please do not say no ask questions there are lots of important questions to ask i am not going to share that with you guys here because i don't want all of you to be asking the same question there is tons of important vital questions that you can be asking your employer at the time of your interview that is going to change everything this is a game changer questions that the employer they are expecting to hear from you guys if you need to know those questions to ask let me know i'm going to give you a template of different questions to ask i'm not saying you are going to be interviewing them you ask two or three important vital questions that is going to be a game changer for you okay guys this is very important and once this after the employer is satisfied with your interview you're actually going to see the expression and the next thing they are going to do is they're going to start preparing they're going to send you a, a congratulatory letter letting you know that you have been offered the job and they're going to go to the next phase which is filing your documents with the immigration and once it gets approved the immigration will send your the notification to your email i want to send it to your email you go to your country consulate or embassy to get your visa and once you get those documents you email you are still going, at this time you are still going to be in contact with your employer some of them will actually help you to get your flight ticket some of them will help you with accommodation some of them will help you with settling down while you are in Canada. You see, at this time point, you're not doing anything. The only thing you did was getting yourself ready. Getting yourself ready, guys. This is why I keep saying it. it's better to be ready than to get ready. Guys, 
take advantage of this opportunity visit the site explore do a lot of things you want and apply for this awesome opportunity i hope so far that i've provided a good information on how to apply for skilled jobs in canada and please so far if you like this video please do not forget to like and give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time on my next video peace and have a great day